Hello students, hope you all are doing well. In the previous lesson, we all learnt about representing the data in different types of graph like bar graph, histogram, line graph and pie graph. Before discussing about today's topic, I will ask you a question. How will you describe the location of your school? For example, you may say it is near the bus station or it is in the opposite of the government hospital or it is in the main road. Suppose we have a point A on the board. Now, how shall we describe the location of point A on the board? Looking at the point, we can say point A is in the upper half of the board. It is near the left edge of the board. We can also say the point is close to left upper corner of the board. With this information, can we locate the point on the board? No, we cannot locate the point using this information because the point can lie anywhere in region 1. So, to find the point exactly, this information is not sufficient. So, to solve this problem, we will measure the distance between the point from the left edge. Now, we know the point is 5 cm away from the left edge. With this information, can we plot the point? We got many points like A, A1, A2, A3, A4 which is 5 cm away from the left edge. The point is 5 cm away from the left edge and 12 cm away from the bottom edge. With these two information, we can exactly locate the point A. Now, let us take a graph sheet which has square grids in it. It will simplify locating the points. The horizontal line is called x axis. The vertical line is called y axis. The common point of intersection of these two lines is called origin. It is denoted by O. Now, we have a point P on the graph which is 3 units away from the left edge that is 3 units away from the y axis. 3 is called the x coordinate. The point P is 2 units away from the bottom edge that is 2 units away from x axis. 2 is called y coordinate. We say coordinates of the point P is 3 comma 2. Now, we will plot the points A and B. Coordinates of A is 4 comma 3 and coordinates of B is 3 comma 4. Is A and B equal? No, we can clearly see they are not equal. For the coordinates to be equal, the corresponding x and y coordinates of the two points has to be equal. The x and y coordinates are not equal here, so A and B is not equal. Now, we will plot few points A, B, C and D. The coordinates of the points are 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4 respectively. We will plot each of these points first. We can see all these points lie on a line. In this case, the graph obtained by joining the plotted points is a line. Such graphs are called linear graph. We will plot few more graphs. The coordinates of the points K, L, M, N, O are 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 6, 3 respectively. We will plot K, L, M, N, O on the graph paper. Here we can observe that all the points lie on a straight line. This line is parallel to x axis. Next, we will plot W, X, Y, Z. The coordinates are 2, 6, 3, 5, 5, 3, 6, 2 respectively. 
W, X, Y, Z lie on a straight line. We will look into one more example. Let's plot 0, 0,2, 0, 0,3, 0, 0,5, 0, 0,6. All these points lie on a straight line. You can observe that they lie on Y axis. Linear means straight and a graph is a pictorial representation of the data in organized manner. Now let's define what is linear graph. The linear graph is nothing but a straight line or straight graph which is drawn on a plane connecting the points on x and y coordinates. Unlike line graph, it doesn't have broken lines. Now Let's see applications of linear graph. Let's take an example. Suppose 1 litre of petrol costs 100 rupees. For different quantities of petrol, the cost of petrol are as follows. For 10 litres of petrol, the cost of petrol is 1000 rupees. For 15 litres of petrol, it's 1500 rupees. For 20 litres of petrol, it's 2000 rupees. For 25 litres of petrol, it's 2500 rupees. Here we can observe that the cost of petrol depends on the number of litres of petrol bought. The cost of petrol is a dependent variable and the number of litres of petrol is an independent variable. An independent variable is a variable whose value never depends on another variable. So, here Number of litres of petrol bought is an independent variable, whereas a dependent variable is a variable whose value depends on another variable. Like here we can see the cost of petrol is a dependent variable. It depends on the number of litres of petrol bought. Now let's plot the graph for the above situation. To plot the graph, first mark number of litres of petrol bought in x axis and cost of petrol in the y axis take the scale as 1 unit equal to 10 liters of petrol on x axis 1 unit equal to 500 rupees on y axis the coordinates of the four points will be 10 comma 1000 15 comma 1500 20 comma 2000 25 comma 2500 we will plot the points and join the points to form a straight line. Now we got a linear graph. We can use this graph to estimate. What will be the cost of petrol if a person buys 12 litres of petrol? To find the answer for this question, first locate 12 on the horizontal x axis, follow the vertical line through 12 till you meet the graph, say point P. From P, take a horizontal line to meet the y axis. This meeting point provides the cost of petrol when 12 litres of petrol is bought. The cost of petrol is 1200 rupees. This way, we can find the unknown quantity using the linear graph. We will solve another problem to understand the situation better. A bank gives annual interest on deposits. On deposition of 1000 rupees, interest will be 80 rupees. For 2000 rupees, 160 rupees of interest. For 3000 rupees, 240 rupees. For 4000 rupees, 320 rupees. For 5000 rupees, 400 rupees. To get an interest of 280 rupees per year, how much money should be deposited? In this case, we can see the money deposited in the bank is the independent variable and the simple interest is the dependent variable. To solve the problem, first mark the money deposited in x axis and the interest in y axis. Take the scale as 1 unit equal to 1000 rupees of deposit on x axis and 1 unit equal to 80 rupees of interest on y axis plot the points 1000 comma 80 2000 comma 160 3000 comma 240 4000 comma 320 5000 comma 400 
join all the five points to get a linear graph. To find the amount of money to be deposited to get the interest of 280 rupees, locate 280 on the y axis, follow the horizontal line through 280 till you meet the graph, say t, from t take a vertical line to meet the x axis, this meeting point provides the amount of money to be deposited to get the amount of 280 rupees as interest. So, the answer is 3500 rupees. If a person deposits 3500 rupees in the bank, he will get the interest of 280 rupees. Let us solve one more problem. The distance covered by a car in 1 hour is 40 kilometers, in 2 hours is 80 kilometers, in 3 hours is 120 kilometers, in 4 hours it is 160 kilometers. How much time does the car take to cover 100 kilometers? First, we will mark the time on x axis and the distance covered in y axis. Take the scale as 1 unit equal to 1 hour on x axis and 1 unit equal to 20 kilometers on y axis. The coordinates of the points are 1 comma 40, 2 comma 80, 3 comma 120, 4 comma 160. Plot the points and join them to get a linear graph. Now, to find out how much time does it require to cover 100 km distance by the car, locate 100 km on the y axis. Follow the horizontal line through 100 km till you meet the graph, say point P. From P, take a vertical line to meet x axis. That point on the x axis is the time required to cover 100 km, that is 2 hours 30 minutes. Solve this problem as an exercise. The cost of one apple is 15 rupees, for two apples it is 30 rupees, for three apples it is 45 rupees, for four apples it is 60 rupees, for five apples it is 75 rupees. What will be the cost if a person buys seven apples? Suppose you buy a chocolate which costs 10 rupees. For one chocolate it is 10 rupees, for two chocolates it is 20 rupees, for 3 chocolates it is 30 rupees, for 4 chocolates it is 40 rupees, for 5 chocolates it is 50 rupees. Identify the dependent and independent variables in this situation. Draw the graph for the data with suitable scales on the axis. What will be the cost if a person buys 8 chocolates? Find the answer using the linear graph. The next question is. Write the coordinates of each points shown in the figure. Draw the graph for the following table, check is it a linear graph. The x coordinate is 3 for which y coordinate is 12. The x coordinate is 4 for which the y coordinate is 16. The x coordinate is 5 for which y coordinate is 20. The x coordinate is 6 for which the y coordinate is 24. The x coordinate is 7 for which the y coordinate is 28. Let us recall what we learnt in today's class. We learnt about coordinate system, dependent and independent variables. Also, we learnt to plot the linear graphs. Hope you all clear with the concepts. Study well. Have a nice day.